Hey everyone, Aliaser here, and welcome to Wargroove on Nintendo Switch. So, <clears throat> a short, short, brief summary. Wargroove is a turn-based strategy game with a slight, a slight use of economics. We will, uh, we will be purchasing our units. Uh, but what's what's most important about Wargroove is actually that it's taking its inspiration from an old uh, Nintendo strategy in the game series, the Advance Wars. If you played them, you already know them. If you haven't, check it out. But without further ado, I, we're gonna be playing the single player and we're gonna be going through the campaign. As you can see, I did not yet uh, play playing uh, the campaign too much. I did actually uh, start it up, completed the first tutorial mission, which is like super easy. Nothing big is going on there. But uh, apart from that, I do not know much about the game. I know that it's held in very high regards. I personally, I already like the art style. That's what also drove me to it. I didn't know that it was uh, gonna be like the spiritual successor of, Advan of, uh, of Advance Wars. But when I saw the first uh, move, the movies and screenshots, I, I was already like, yeah, th this, this, this is gonna be good. So let's start the campaign. On a rainy night at Cherrystone Castle. This weather is giving me the spooks. Did you hear that? Cut it out, it just, it's just thunder. But I'm uh, going to patrol the throne room. Coward. Hey, wait for me! Mm-hmm, okay. Sigrid. Cowards jumping at the shadows and dropping their guard. Getting to the king shouldn't be much of a challenge. <laughs> there he is, all alone in his chambers. How convenient. Yeah. The fewer guards I dispatch, the quicker this will be. But some unfortunate wretches will stand in my way. I'll sorry about defeating the dead one over there. Alright, so right off the bat you can see... It's uh, it plays on the the maps are way larger than what we're used to in into the breach. So okay, let's let's select Sigrid with A, move in and attack. I need to defeat the guard and clear the path to the king. Okay, yeah, I want to. This is tiresome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, away, peasant. Okay, so that's that's our king. <sighs> it's time. Time time my daughter learned the truth. But how do I tell her? What awful secrets do lie in store for your daughter? Okay, I'll make my way towards the king's chamber. Alright, let's move and wait. Okay. Mercia, long time ago before Cherry Stone was Cherry Stone. Hmm, no. Hmm. Alright, no, not much is gonna go down here, trust me on that one. Yeah, this is laughably easy, but let's not... Let's not forget, this is only the first mission. So... It's, it's gonna be like that. I really like that uh, there are those sh short audio clips, like those short barks during during the combat. There was once a kingdom called Cacophony and a war known as Great Dissonance. Also, the lack of vo the lack of voice acting, I, I actually really like it. I know it's a smaller game on a much smaller scale, but the fact that there are only like Short barks so far for for most of the, the characters uh, is is uh, really cool for me. Okay, the knowledge is too great a burden. Oh mercy, ah. Okay, turn five. Now, hmm, this castle is vast. If I access the overview screen, I can get a glimpse of its true extent. I just need to select unoccupied tile and pick overview. Okay, so that's this is unoccupied. Okay. Okay, this screen provides me with objectives and statistics. Hmm, so many humans, how unpleasant. Still, I can avoid most of them. As my objective says, I'm here for the king. 
I can close this now and return to my task. So yeah, as you can see, we got gold income and current units and the map object uh, and to get the highest rank uh, we need to assassinate the the king of cherry stone in in 10 turn within 10 turns so <laughs> time to defeat a few more hapless guards and make my way to to the king's chamber yeah i'm not i'm not an, actually a fan of uh, being oh, graded uh, for how, how fast i do during uh, during during strategy games, but it was like that. I in Advance Wars as well. I if I recall my correctly, I'll start slowly, my darling Bluebird. I need to tell you something. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it actually goes in with with the overall difficulty of the game. Okay, we're nearly there. It's a very long story, but something that happened a very long time ago. Okay, let's get rid of you. How foolish. Goodbye. Yeah, bye bye. <sighs> a very long time ago indeed. Why can't the past stay the past? Yeah, it tends to be that way. Okay, let's let's meet up with Merciful <laughs> at last. You? How did you? What? Sigrid. <laughs> Bam. Humans are so frail. Do you understand what you've just done? You'll start a war. <sighs> war. The inane squabble of children. Where is the key? Safe. You'll never have it. The key is in safe hands, far from the grasp of a monster like you. <laughs> safe hands? Before you die, understand this. Nothing is safe for Listen. me. You're making a mistake. Hush now. <laughs> Still, the key eludes me. No matter. <laughs> It's close, I can feel it. So the stage is set! So... The King of Cherry Stone is dead. We... we got... Uh, we earned three stars. Yes! Okay, Emmerich. Well done, Princess! Your, your skill with the Cherry Blade <laughs> improves yet further. <laughs> cherry Blade. <laughs> oh, man. And, and they're so happy! Thank you! <laughs> Woof, Caesar! <laughs> oh man, this dog looks so cool! It's alright, Caesar, it's just one of the royal guard. Lord Emmerich! Hmm? Is this important? You disturbed the princess's lesson. The king, my lord! The king has been killed! What? Nani? No! <clears throat> no! Father! I'm sorry. Mercia, I'm so sorry. Who did this? Sir, the asylum appears to have been a, a vampire. Ah, that would explain why she has that tooth visible when she laughs. The Felheim Legion. Princess Mercia, the murder of your father is an act of war. We must defend the kingdom. War? We're at a war? Nice. Okay, you unlocked uh, additional lore about Emmerich. <laughs> awesome, indeed. Okay, let's see, right, we got the prologue down. Yeah, well, this map is a formidable size, I have to say. I'm really liking it already. All right, let's see. The beginning, under the cover of night, High Vampire Sigrid makes a daring attack on Cherry Stone Castle. Yeah, we did that, I think. All right, uh, we gotta leg it. Okay, Act 1, Mission 1, let's see, The Breach. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good, considering we're playing into The Breach all the time. An unsure Mercia faces her first test as, a mor as Monarch of Cherry Stone. Alright, let's play the mission. Alright, several months later, we got the crown. Queen. Congratulations on your coronation, Queen Mercia. Emmerich. Do you really think I'm ready to be queen? I have no doubt. 
Well, right you are. You are you are your father's daughter. Hmm. I hope you're right. <laughs> your Majesty, Falheim scouts have breached the border. What? They're here in Cherry Stone. Let's go. I can do this. <laughs> I know you can. Yeah, because on the battlefield we're a soldier, not royalty. Wait, your majesty, your crown! Okay, so... <laughs> These skeletal warriors are Felheim troops. We must defeat them to all to secure this region. We should begin by attacking the closest dread swords with our unit... With our unit of swordsmen. Right, let's get this over and done with. Okay, scars across the eye are always cool. Okay, so this is all oh, right, right. Uh, okay, so the the red ones are our units. Let's move the unit of swordsmen to to the forest and attack the dread sword. All right, so this will be like we'll probably be getting yeah. As you can see in the lower right corner. If we if we stand on the on regular pathway like here, there's no, we get no defense. If we stay in the grasslands, we get plus three shield, uh, one shield. And if we attack from the forest, we actually get three three shields. So I, I suppose that's the, we're gonna get uh, defense that way. All right, we have we're gonna kill 54. And half of them should do it. Yeah. So as you can see, the the, the units always, um, if we do not kill them in one fell swoop, they, they will counter attack and this will cause us to take damage as well. But the fact is that, yeah, notice the numbers that have appeared next to, to the two battling units. Yes. Yeah, there's a little number next to each of them. It represents the unit's health. They appear when it drops uh, below 95%. The number 5 indicates that the Dread Sword is down at around 50% of health. Mm. And my swordsman is down to about 80% of health. Got Very it! Well. Then let's attack the dread sword with our second swordsman. Yeah, but he should have said that we we're actually defending. So. Okay, and see right now that we already we're we're informed that we're gonna kill about 57% of the swordsmen. So we should kill them. I don't know if it's if it's to if it's uh, in, in taking into consideration their full full health or or their current health which is five. Okay, well we're gonna find out. Move the swordsman to the tile below the enemy and choose attack. Well, all right. I don't get it. My queen, may I interject for just a moment? When selecting a target, the damage preview will appear above its head. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. The damage preview indicates the, what damage will be dealt by both units during the con during combat. Sounds handy, yeah, it is. You see, the health of a unit suggests more than how close it is to defeat. Um, okay, uh, the more damage a unit, uh, unit takes, the weaker it is, uh, the weaker its po attack power becomes. So a healthy unit is a stronger unit. Heck yeah, indeed. But it looks like your swordsman will do just fine here. Okay, okay. So that's a little bit confusing, I have to say, because the 57%, I, I initially what? thought that we would have killed like half of the remaining half, but it's more like... In the, in the sense that we do we 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 do f almost six points of damage. This is how we should we should be taking uh, we should be thinking about it. Okay, more undead. It seems like they're not giving up quite yet. Okay, come on, dry bones. All right, we got pikemen. Friendly reinforcements have arrived. Just in the nick of time. Look, it seems we've uh, like we've been provided with a new type, uh, new unit type, Pike Man. Ah, that was a lucky shot. I didn't know that they would be called that. This might be a good time for you to learn about crucial, about critical hits. Oh, all right, critical hits. Yes. All units have conditions under which the, their attacks are stronger. Oh, that's cool. We call these attacks critical hits. I've never heard of those. Do not worry, my queen. This information is easy to find. Let me show you how to find information about units crit. Okay, let's see. 
Oh, I love it! I love it! Ah, so, so, such a cool... Uh, in, in, in info screen, alright. Slower, more powerful infantry. Critical hit when adjacent to another spear. Oh, man! So, it's so cool! So it... Oh, this adds such additional layers of strategy. I like it already. I don't think that it was like anything like this in, in Advanced Wars. I might be wrong, but I, I don't recall it when I was playing the first game. Yeah, let's see. Stone roads that speed along the big wooden fields, but offer a little protection. Okay, so this this is also information regarding uh, the tile that we are currently standing. Okay, this is the tile info screen. Here we can find useful information about our selected unit. Okay, and there's also like we're spearmen and we're again effective against uh, sword fighters. So we're we're probably gonna smack the those those skeletons in one go. Okay, this part gives us a good overview of the unit. Mm -hmm. The pikeman crits when adjacent to another pikeman. You can bring up this info screen on any unit, terrain, or structure. Use it often and you learn fast. Alright, I'll make sure to check it often. When you're ready, you can close this window. Okay, I, th I, th I think we're ready. We're... let's see, let's examine. Okay, effective. Oh man, so we, we almost kill uh, in one go the, the dry well. bones. I call them dry bones, I don't know why. <laughs> We should make sure that the pikemen stick together. Got it. Okay, yeah, so I think we're gonna move here. Yeah, let's move the pikemen on the right on the right into the into a good position. Okay, come on! Yeah, I want to move them. Ah, okay, I have to I have to move them here. We've lined up our first pikemen. Ah yeah, I, I would have I would have placed them wrong, so the, 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 this is a good tutorial. Let's attack the Dread Sword with our second pikeman. Okay, so they are called Dread Swords. 120, alright, so the, they'll be dead. Let me draw your attention to the damage preview once more. Oh, the arrow is flashing. Yeah? Ah, it is. It actually is. Well spotted, a flashing arrow in the damage preview is a good sign. It indicates that you're about to land a critical hit. Or for memory. Yeah, get bent. Thanks to the placement of the first pikeman. Yeah. The second pikeman, pikeman dealt a critical hit. <laughs> she learns fast. <laughs> Keeping your pikeman together will ensure a stronger offense. When encountering a new unit type, it's important to learn about your crit. I'll leave you to defeat the rest of those uh, Felheim troops. Of these Felheim Thank troops. You. Thank you, Emmerich. I couldn't do this without you. Yeah, you're a good advisor. Okay. Uh, David the invading Felheim of, uh, forces. Uh, okay, the planes. Mm. Let's see the overview. Okay. A rank in four turns. So, defeat the invading Felheim forces. We have money, but we do not yet need to spend it. Uh, Alright. Mm. Let's, let's learn about our unit here. Yeah, the soldier. Basic infantry useful for capturing structures. Critical hit when adjacent to, to its commander. Okay, we do not have a commander currently. Uh, obviously, we're, we're vulnerable to this uh, to, pile, to pikemen or the spears. Okay, first are slow going, but provide good defense and the, mean, and the means uh, of avoiding vehicles. Oh, oh man, there, there's gonna be a lot to learn. Okay, so we're actually... No, we cannot get into this spot. Okay, so I think we're gonna attack with with these swordsmen here. So we should, we should be at 7 health. 8 or 7, that, that's it. And we're, we're, and we're gonna kill like 6 of them? Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, yeah, we're we're at eight uh, eight hit points, all, almost seven actually. Okay, and we attack. Yeah. Avast ye! All right, what do you do? Okay, pikeman versus pikeman. Oh man, they killed quite a bit of them. But it's like 50-50. Man, they, they are weak! Okay, so let's ensure our victory. So, let's move to the side. And have the full health uh, pikemen attack. 
Yeah, we're we're gonna basically murder them. Bye bye. <laughs> That's the last of them. Well done, my queen. Yeah. Also, like <laughs> how Caesar is also like like sparkling. We did it. A good start, but Felheim won't stop there. We must remain vigilant. They'll be back? Yes. Yeah, obviously. And in greater numbers. Uh. A whole horde of skeletons. Indeed, and much else besides. I'd forgotten you had so little experience with the undead. Yeah. Think, think, think. <sighs> Cherrystone is normally so peaceful. I've never seen them here before. But how? But now they're coming and they won't stop. An undead army. All undead but one. We've spoken in your lessons of their leader, Volder. A living, a living man and... Yeah. And a necromancer of great power. I haven't forgotten. Well, we should make a move. The undead are likely to be advancing upon other parts of the kingdom. Uh. Emmerich, do you think Vol Volder will come to Cherrystone himself? Yes. Yes, your majesty, I do. Well, at least he doesn't beat around the bush, so that makes him like a really good advisor. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Your Majesty, wait! Yeah, this guy is going places. Okay, we took three turns. Units defeated. Yeah, obviously we couldn't go any lower than the best. Okay, we unlocked additional lore about Mercia. Uh, maybe one time we're, we're actually gonna read some of the lore, but, but that day is not today. Uh, okay, I, th I think this is where we're gonna take a break. Man, so far, I'm really loving it. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. This this is this is what I, I, I really enjoy about the, the indie games. They, they actually get me excited and I'm really excited to, to see how this game plays out, how the story plays out. And all the other factions, all the other units, man, this, this, this is gonna be so cool, but for now, thank you very much for joining me, I do hope you, hope you liked the video, and I'll be seeing you next time, alright, so have a great day, until then, alright, bye bye!